I want to thank every single one of you uh, for coming out, taking the time. This is something that means the world to me. Um, one of the first things that I remember is going pheasant hunting with my dad and just walking the corn rolls and looking through them and shooting the roosters as they took off running. I wasn't introduced to a hunting dog until I was about 12 years old and just by chance my parents brought home a, a yellow lab and of course didn't know anything about it and just got lucky had a dog that I could go out and, and hunt behind. And once I started training the, do the dogs and, and really understanding that it, it's a bond and it's something that both of us can enjoy while we're out in the field. And pheasant hunting with my father was the number one thing that I remember that brought me into the love. And I want to pass down to you children my passion that I have out here. My guides, all of them, are buddies of mine that have been hunting with me, and they carry the passion with them too. That's why they're out here. So as we're out learning, this is going to be a very good educational day. You kids that showed up, you kids are going to have a ball. We're going to make it safe. We're going to make it fun. And when people are missing, please, let's talk some crap, because that's one of the favorite things out here. So when you miss, I'm getting you. No? No? We are going to go over safety. How many of you kiddos have hunted with dogs? Yes, yes. Do behind the dogs. Okay, that's great. Okay. So for those that have not, that they are, we can look like we're the guides as much as possible, but really it's truly those dogs. Those dogs we're trusting, we're letting them do the show. So there's gonna be birds out there, guys, and we're gonna, a lot of this is gonna be redundant, but I want you to pay attention to it because the more you know, the more you're gonna enjoy this for the rest of your life. Too. For that, we're gonna pass it over to Nathan. And again, guys, thank you very much and let's have an incredible day okay thank you nathan all right guys we're gonna go over some gun safety um how many of you have hunted before period has everybody hunted before okay so this should be old hat for all of you because this is the first thing you would have learned in hunter safety first thing you should learn everywhere but the and we go through safety because it's the most important part of having fun you know if you do the things that keep you safe, you're gonna go out and enjoy yourself. At the end of the day, everybody's gonna come back safe and it will have been a good time. The first rule of gun safety is treat every gun like it's loaded. Every gun you come across, every gun you pick up, you wanna treat it like it's loaded. And so the follow-up to that is when you're done, make sure you unload it. Along those lines, you wanna make sure also, rule number two is always point your gun in a safe direction. Be aware of where you're at and be aware of where things are safe. You know, if I'm standing here in front of you guys, I know safe is up and I know safe is out. You never point your gun at something you don't intend to shoot, okay? So the last thing that I wanted to go through, you need to know your surroundings. You need to understand, you know, like we talked about in the first rules, you need to understand where's your target, what's beyond it, where are your safe spaces? You know, you always point your barrel in a safe space, right? When you're out hunting, know your range. You know, when we're out in the field, you're going to want to cover like 10 to 2. It's kind of your range. You're going to want to shoot birds from here to here. If it gets much past that, you're going to have somebody standing next to you. And that's going to become their 10 to 2 window and their 10 to 2 window. And the person on the end gets a wider window. You know, they get to have all the way around. But the people in the middle, make sure you got your 10 to 2. And if it's in the middle, both of you shoot it. You can always wish you took a shot. You can never take back one that you wish you didn't. So when in doubt, don't shoot. If we remember those things, remember your surroundings, and we're gonna go have a good time. Um, go grab your guns, and we're gonna walk through just- So they're unloaded. Yeah. Unloaded and action open. And we'll walk through them and just make sure that we've talked through all that. that however you're going to do it, this side, that side, whatever, just make sure that that's where you know this is how I'm doing. Practice that motion, that's a good thing for the, for the play picture. Okay. Open it up, keep it open, right? Okay, we're going to do it. That gets one, that gets two, that gets three, and you do that until nothing comes out, right? 
so you got it. Like not all the time, right? But you're ready to swing, you're ready to follow that third drawing key. As Jason kind of mentioned this morning, for us, these are what this whole thing is about, right? We're just going to go through some basics here real fast of kind of the real basic. And then, and then we're going to kind of show you how that uh, training progresses and some of the things that you can do as you build up because there is nothing like uh, working uh, birds over your own dog. Who here has a dog? Everybody. Does anyone not like their dog? <laughs> Especially when you're trying to, to demonstrate stuff. Um, the very, the most important thing is that bond, and the best way you can do that is just by spending time with them, right? And I don't remember which book it was, but the, one of the first ones that I read was when you're starting out and they're old enough and you're starting to work through training is just spend time with them. Go on a walk, go, go out and hike, let them explore, let them get used to, you know, being around you and coming back. And I would say that's probably where it starts. And then that's going to move straight into basic obedience, right? So basically she knows that until I take that from her, whether it's an upland bird, whether it's a duck, whether it's a, a goose, hopefully at some point here, she'll, she'll say, okay, dad, I'll pick that up. Um, that she knows that's her job until she gets it back to me. Gonna heal. That's a good pup. So she knows she needs to hold that until I take it from her. Hold up. Wanna sit? Catch it up. Oh, okay. She skipped a step in there, but uh, that's okay, right? <laughs> Plenty of birds, there's going to be plenty of shots for everybody. You guys are going to have sore shoulders for a few days, okay? Um, again, no shots on the ground. Birds have to be in the air and we want to see sky, right? So we don't want to, our dog right here and we got a bird right here. There's no shot. Okay? Right. Um, listen to your, your guides behind you. The, the shooters, all of us are here to make sure that every single one of you get a shot and have a blast out here, okay? Do we got anything to add, gentlemen? Nobody wants to add anything? Sounds good. Listen, guys, we, we've got a ton of birds. Let's slay them. Let's lay them out and let's have fun and be safe, okay? Yep, right here in front, right here in front.
got him. Keep going. There it is. Take it. There we go. Here. 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 Coming around, coming around. Let's get that kid up. <laughs> my pointer. <laughs> Okay, guys, thank you so much again for coming out and uh, uh, being a part of something that, uh, like I told you beginning, something that's very important to me. This is something we're growing on, guys, and you're a part of it. This is, the, this is something that starts with you as we continue. Sooner or later, maybe one of you guys are gonna be up here singing with old Hetho, right? I mean, this is the family that we're creating here. And it's very important for you guys as ambassadors to go out there, share it, share the experience that you had here. Because other than that, nobody's going to know how enjoyable this is in the family time, the, the, the time spent just like this right here. This is amazing. And this is what I look forward to, guys. So please do go out and tell people about what pheasant hunting is, just the time spent out in the in the elements ladies you were enjoying the day today smiling all of you guys were doing and i am i'm so thankful for every single one of you that came out here and took a part i'm thankful to our sponsors that donated we have a ton of food probably a little too much food but it uh, i'd rather have more food than not enough but again thank you guys please eat more food and enjoy and thank you guys again i appreciate it thank you thank you I'm a lost cause Baby, don't waste no time on me I'm so dead